40. So I want um, this printed, and then somebody print me one. And then here's the actual homework one. So um, the homework is to go to, we're going to look at cost of construction over time. So I actually found out this CCI, this construction cost index. And actually, this one went from 1990 to 2005, which it fits in with where they're needing. So there's, yeah. it's actually as far back as I really need to go is February, starting in 2000. Because our dates are 2000. To just the beginning of February, and I need to go all the way up to 2015. So this is going to be this is going to be fairly easy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what a, a, so we're going to open up Excel, just a blank one. So I believe I'm recording, and I believe that you can see my screen. So I'm going to kind of show you what it's going to look like. So. What we're going to do is we're going to set, and then you can actually start, doesn't matter, you can go from 2015 down to 2001. And then across the top, we're going to have January through December. So I'll get it, I'll kind of, I'm going to start over with a new one. So, um, I'm going to write in column A, this is going to be my year. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks. Sorry I'm late. Well, hop in. Ready? Hop in. We're in Excel. Okay, good. And print out. Uh, did anybody print out an extra, like, um, chapter five exercise, chapter five homework one? So it's right here. So you're going to print out a homework one, and then you're going to print out the call stand day. Can we hear anything about my classes again? Yes. I thank you, man. I appreciate that. No problem. I'm going to do year here, and then across, I'm going to do January. February. So we want to put all the ones that you want. February, March, April. So go ahead and put your. So I've left this 1A open. So I started January and B. So January, February, March, April, May. So you're going to go the whole 12 months. You don't have to do the average. July. Next one will be through early today. Sure, y'all need it. 
I'm sure I've been you need it. We've had some. All day. My brain is dry. So we've had we've had some. So I think everybody would need them. All right. So I've got months: January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And then I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with the 2015, like my chart has. So I'm gonna type 2015 here for my year. And I'm going to back down to 2014 and go all the way down to go go ahead and go down to 2001. Let's see if it'll repeat and know what I'm trying to do. Nope. I was trying to see if it would repeat and know what I was trying to do. I just didn't do it right. 2011, 2010. I've always wanted to do the same. Yeah. yeah. It, it will repeat this, Captain. It would, yeah. and I must have did something. And so I said, I'm going to go all the way down to 2001. All right, so I've got the year on the A column. So I've got 2010 or 2015. And then I went 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fifteen, which is what this index code. So this is going to be backward. Index. Okay. Yeah, I'm going. I just went down just because they had it going down. That way we can line them up. Let me know when you're done. You're done. Chris, you done? Yeah. Okay. Matthew, you done? You ready to go? Right. Paul, Douglas, Robert, all right. much. Monica, you done? I'd like to Okay. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be simple, and I show you how it's done. Got it, and then we're going to start filling in the index codes. All right, so right here in the January 2015, you're going to put the code that's in for there. So, so that should be what 9972, that's an index code, it's a cost index. So in the January, put 9972. When you go to February, you should be putting 99.62. And then just go across and fill in this chart. And these are the cost index. So I'm going across and putting in all of the numbers that go on the chart. So that's 39. So This is better than having to do it by hand. Hello? Hey. I got a flood in my house my kitchen sink. So I'm giving some love. People, where we're at, we're in Excel right now. You all right? Yes. I'm punching in all the ones across the top. So I'm at August. Got my numbers 
solve it. Here's 39, July. July 10037. 0039. We don't have December, so I can't put that one in. So now when I drop down to 14, you want to put all the ones beside the 14. So you want to start with the 9664 and put all of those numbers in that are on your chart. Good thing is if I actually type something wrong and my numbers don't come out like yours, we'll know right offhand if we got something typed wrong. So go all the way to 2001. Yep, go all the way to 2001 doing the same thing. And these are construction costs. They're cost index history. I don't have to do the average. Very nice to calculate that. So uh, you're going to keep like just repeating and putting all the codes in. And I am recording. Have the no, you don't have to have an average. Well, I will, I'll stop at December because there's only going to be certain months that we're going to even have to look at. So I'll start stopping December. Y'all will probably be through before I am. I'm not a fast typer. Uh, 11 more years to go. <laughs> We don't do the, we don't do the average. No, you don't need the average. Okay. 
I'm just kind of, I'm actually going down the opposite way, filling them in. You might want to save. You've got enough type. Wait for something to blink. Just a little tedious typing, but once we get through, then the other will go really quick. Anybody done yet? Good. Y'all quicker than I am. I'm pretty slow. Yeah, I'm done with me. just looking at the dates that they asked for and notice they fit if I went to actually the first date they give us is a 2002 which is what a project cost in 2002 so all I need was really 2002 up to 2015.
November and December later.
So once you finish getting to type in, go ahead and change so we so our dates that we're going to be looking at. If I'm looking at historical cost study, so I want to look at a cost of four thousand four hundred thousand in January two thousand two. So I put a code. I went to January. No, February two thousand two to and change my field color. So actually I changed that one to a yellow. And then I went to the March, went February 2003, changed the field color. And you can do any, any color you want just to make it stand out. You need May 2007, so I don't have that one. Make them stand out a little bit. January 2009 and February 15. You got your original date, which is February 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, you said 6. Your number 2 said assume the project cost 400000 in February 2002. Oh, yeah. How much would it cost in these days? Yeah. So, you want to highlight the February uh, 2002. You want to highlight that code. That's These are construction cost index. So, when you click on it, just change your fill color to a different color. It doesn't have to be, but I use. Um, yellow for that one. So you're going to actually, and the next date was February 2003. So change that, make it where it stands out. We need May 2007. So 
be more uh, you guys turn your mic off unless you want to ask a question. Oh, okay, I'm up. Yeah, I got you. So, yeah, if you need to ask a question, that's fine. Just turn it back on. So, I'm highlighting the ones that are the the ones that it says to highlight number two. Oh, and so, I'm going to delete. I'm going to delete my formula right now. So then I'm going to write below and you just put March. So then I just dropped down and I did February 03, March 05, May 07, January 09, and February 15. And it's projected, but we're going to have a formula we're going to punch in. Okay. So I'm going to wait before I put that. Like we only have to put, we only have to do four formulas and then type up these things. So we'll, we're actually be too quicker than what you think. So I'm going to save again. <clears throat> so essentially what we're going to do Teach. Yes. When you go back on break, um, could you uh go to the other ones so I can finish the Excel spreadsheet? Yeah, I'm I'm getting ready to. 
I'm just kind right. of going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to put this on there to show you actually what we're going to be doing. Okay. So, so index. I'm going to call it a CI. And so our base one is 2000, what, three? No, 2002. So the first one we're going to be looking for is the index of February. If it cost you don't have two thousand two on the bottom? Like over here. No, no, just on the uh, February, March. Oh, there's nothing in here yet. No, you don't have to. I'm going to show you how to set up a um, this formula in there. So, no, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to set it up. Where... So, let's see. I don't know X. I know 400 is equal to index 2000. Two. And then I'm going to put the index. And that's this is February, and we need February two thousand three. Can somebody give me what the code index is for two thousand two February? Okay. Okay. And then give me the code index for 2003. So what we're going to want to do is solve for 66. Okay, so that's the math that we're going to use, but I'm going to show you how to easily do it next step. So we're actually, the this is not going to change because everything's going to be based off this 2002 index. The original cost is going to be 400. The only thing we'll have to do to change the formula is whatever the index is for the year that they asked for. So let me show you how to do that. So, you want to? You have 260. I'll get the last part right there. What do I have? Yeah, right, right, right. It should be 2606. Yes, 2606. Because you're saying on the slide. So, you're saying on the slide. 
that one number, I mean, that's, you're saying that's 411,000. Yeah, so, in, so that same project would cost a year later 411,000. 411,018.2606. Oh, not 26. Point 2606. 2606, right? 2606. This is a 606. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Six I'm going to do it in Excel. Okay. Yeah. So, here's what I want to do. I want to put a formula in. I'm going to do the equals. And our base cost is 400,000, correct? I'm going to do 400. 400,000. Mm -hmm. So I just, I just put that in. That, and then we hit times. You may not have to. And then we'll do a parentheses so that I can do. So what number goes on top in our formula that we have here? 6648. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in in my red column that we already have highlighted, red, divided by base. So you just clicked in the square. I clicked in the square and it's going to automatically put those codes in there for me. So I don't have to hand type them in. If I hit enter, I should get that same. I should got I got that same cost that we just did by hand. Okay, I get it. Six four zero good one top, that's the first one. Yeah, I'll go back. Okay. So here's my formula right there. Equals, you did equals first, right? Yeah, equals C15. I did, no, I did 400,000. Is that yeah, what you're 400,000. And then times? C15. Yeah, but now uh, hopefully yours 64, is. 644. Uh, yeah, it should put it in there for you. Yeah, and then. Uh, Divided by 6462. 6462, right? I get that. Okay. So it's put in there. Yes. Hit wow. Now I changed mine to a cost. So click there in that one. Okay. Oh, you need cost. Get up. And then change that to currency. Sure, dollar. Are we using that base number for each? Well, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the only thing you have to switch out for the other one is just the, the whatever you're using. 2002. Okay, so we've got that one. So now that only I can actually um, I'm almost if I could copy that. And then the only thing I'll have to change out instead of so 400, it's still C16, but I actually need to be for this one, it'll be. That went down. You switch the numbers to us. The number that stays the same should be the bottom number that's capping the chain the top number. Oh, I changed the wrong one. Uh, oh. All right, let me go back out. 400. Top number divided by. This back yellow every time it's going to be the yellow. There we go. So I'm going to go back and do equals 400,000. Mm -hmm. 
So now my next one is. Oh, mine's not across. I'm going to make on a currency. So if I'm doing January 09, I'm still going to put equals. I'm going to do the 400,000. That doesn't change. Times my code for January 09 divided by the base cost down here again, the yellow. So I come back to the yellow every time. I may have put some in wrong. I'll see. I'll see what. Okay. What did somebody get for March 05? Matthew, what did you get for cost of March 05? Uh, 452,429. 0.59. Did anybody else get that? Yeah. Okay. So we'll need to look at your. May 07. What did you get? My format is uh, it's this rounded thing, everything off. So the format is uh, right here. On all of them, I think it's rounding up to three to six. I don't know how I was doing that on my Excel. Well, you mean like the codes are to the even number. Is that where it's rounding up, or is it rounding down here? Um, by February 03, the money is rounding up. It's rounding up. up. March oh, did this number up here? Yeah, it's rounded it up. I, got well, I do accounting and see what happens. Just when you click the number, hit the accounting and see if it works for you. See if you'll get the dollar sign. Or you can just click the dollar yeah, sign. Yeah, I got it. All right, my last one. Let's see if this one comes in. So I'm going to do equals. 400 times so I'm gonna all right yeah I got the same one so see how easy that was? What did you do? C3616, don't say that. Yeah, so in other words, I went, I just, instead of having to type that number in, I just went up there and told it to take the, the, the February 2015 divided by the February 02 times my original cost of 400000 what was January 09? What was the formula for that? This one? Right here? January 09? Right yeah. there. It's 400 times the index code, which is 8549 divided by C16. All right. So can you like maybe plot plot a chart based off of this? There's a couple of ways you can plot charts, can't you? What's your code in here? Oh, that's the same thing you just did there. I messed up. What you want to look at? May old seven. May or seven. There it is. F eleven. Okay, F eleven. Okay. Yeah, four hundred zero. How's yours coming in, Douglas? Oh, this last block. I'm wondering why. Oh, uh, <laughs> Okay, so you went to custom. Okay. <sighs> 
cost index we just uh, we just did the sum of project cost and we just figured out how much it would cost what about maybe using engineer and and plot time versus <laughs> plotting or it says oh, they say go do every four months but what if I did it every month Use an engineer to graph the construction index versus time, which we went on. What we went all the way to 2015. What's it mean by four points per year, Ms. Kelly? So I think they were doing it every three months. I'm not going to do it every three months. I'm just going to see what I'm going to see what happens if I do it every. I'm just going to see if I can plot. Every I'm just going to look at some of the, you can do recommended charts. I'm just going to play with some of those, see what kind of recommended charts it will give me. I'm just looking at some of the different graphs that we can So if I want to just do my years, my years, I just did the cost. I just did this little small one right here. But they were saying these are indexes. So really index. I don't know how it was getting a cost, but it was getting a cost when I tried to do. I was trying to kind of plot to see what this looked like. Recommended charts. See, if I have the same number, why does my chart look so much different than yours? Mm, because for this bottom one, I just chose these four things down here. I haven't put one for the top. I was about that one. I was talking about how you have everything selected. Uh -huh. Like how if you look at yours and then look at mine, mine like literally has no numbers. Thank you. 
Like, yeah, that one. You know, yours is all like neat. I'm just messing with them. I'm just looking at. Well, even if I look at any of them, I don't know really why it's doing this. Like, all of them look like this. Mm -hmm. You see um, how this one that you pulled up, Miss Kathy? Mm hmm. This is what mine looks like, but yours look like big, and I'm like, every, all of them look like that. I don't understand why they're all this big. Look at a charge still, Paul. Huh? And that was when I selected all of them. Oh, I'm still looking. Originally, last night, I did the chart for just the bottom part. It is in there. So I'm working on the chart. I'm trying to show you, like, how I make them. Like, all of them look that way. I don't know if you did it. Like, even this one is like, there you go. So. Yeah. so yeah. Are your dates in the years the same direction as mine are? I'm just playing with all the different kinds, just trying to see what we plot. Oh, wow, look at that. Messed up my. Messed up what I had it then. And Monica, yours were all the same, nothing's different. Nothing's and I'll highlight and all just outside. Yeah, and then all of my graphs, like that are supposed to be like high, they're all the same. Like, I'll see how yours are tall. I guess I'll just keep going. Not tall. The same ones that I would take. The, the seven Mine are really high, just like all the same, all the way across. But you got to make all them custom. So we got it. I like how you have the clustered ones. Look at how mine looks, Miss Kathy. This is my clustered one. See how you can barely see it? I'm not sure why mine is acting like that. It's like never an option for us. Like I took a class, you know, I'm like, I know. <laughs> what if you did the, um, what if you did the, like, ring? I want you to do a little bit. All right. Class time. Where you have been watching points in there? 28 years? Jesus. What did you do? Is that the thing you do? I'm just looking at this. I'm surprised you can hear. Where is it? Did I hate it? I was at 218. I was rocking on 218. Oh, wow. That's classic. I retired out of school or something. Really? That's awesome. You can say. Oh yeah, that's that's working. That's working. Now I'm going to be playing it. So, well, since you were made this chart, this can't be. Homework one chart. Uh, hold on, I'll just check the file. Homework one is what it's called. Check the file for what? But the chart should be called, you know, it's construction cost index. Yeah, but I'm going to have numbers. That numbers on here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I did I did one based on this one's the waterfall one. Um, and then I did a chart just for the the time and the cost for just these months. You can name the title. This could be your Everybody, did everybody get the N numbers? No. Our, all of our numbers ended up. I still think on January. What is this one? Which one? Non January. January like that. All right, so in this same in this same Excel, can you give me five reasons of why a projected estimate may not be? There's five reasons why the actual cost may vary from my estimate. Location cost over time increases as well as cost. These material costs, time, inflation. Yeah, so so uh, six months ago, if you had bought a two by four, you'd probably pay two dollars. You go to buy one now, what do you think it's going to be? Ten dollars, eight dollars. Yeah. So in this same thing to finish it up, all you have to do is the third thing says list five reasons why the actual cost may vary from an estimate. Yeah, I don't want my numbers to be wider. That's why. That would make sense. Oh, and that's, that's good to know then. Yeah. So I would just put like one um, material went up. We had a, so you just list me five reasons. Just type them in there and you can submit this all as your, your work. So actually, y'all got 504, and you will be done after you type your five reasons. Choose any um, graph that you want to put in. I did one for the cost index and one for just those key dates, and then list five reasons, and then just attach the Excel to your. Oh, I got a chart. Yeah, chart. Chart, but not working. So it's a lot easier doing it like this and doing it by hand. It took a little bit of tedious work typing in those construction cost index. But it. Go to uh, waterfall. So I'm going to save mine. Once you get it saved and you can just get, once you get your five reasons, you can attach it. So Monday we'll be doing homework two which is going to be a ROM estimate, which is going to be, and a ROM estimate would be kind of like we did the hotels, but this is going to be a high school. So we're going to be doing homework to Monday, which is a ROM estimate. Everything should be in your book that we're going to use from this. The only thing I might would have to give you is the the city of Tucson, but everything should be in your book. So we're going to be going over how to do homework two Monday, and then that'll complete all of five, and we'll be ready then on Wednesday to start on chapter six. So chapter six is going to have a lot of key terms in it as well that I'm going to want you to know. Um, 
But Monday probably would take the whole you know, hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes to do a ROM estimate because we're going to have to adjust for size, location, designer fee, and all of that. So you're going to get more practice of that. And I should have, if you've turned your stuff in for these others, I'll try to get them back to you by Monday. Questions? What about the assignment did you say? Monday. We need to have that. We're going to do that Monday. But if you've got, yeah, this one, once you put the five reasons, attach it in Blackboard. If you've done your exercise one, two, and your assignment one, I'll, and you've handed them in or attached them on Blackboard, I'll try to have them graded and back to you Monday. Questions for the good of the class? Does anybody need to look at the Excel again? Tony, did you get the, did you want to look at any of the formulas? No, I got it. I'm about to email it to you now. I lost my other chart. I must have hooked out of that chart. All right, so I'm going to close. No, you don't have to label your charts. No, just save it as a Excel and it's attached at Blackboard. So I was recording, so I'm going to go in and...